So you've gone and done it. You've spent a whopping ton of cash to buy the audio setup of your dreams. That includes a mic, mic stand, uh, your XLR cable, and an audio interface that hooks up into your computer. Well, if that audio interface happens to be the exact same one that I bought, then you might run into some problems I had, which is why I'm making this video to show you what you can do to solve them. Hi, my name is Dylan, and this is the Tascam US 4x4, um, and I'm using it to record today. And I had a lot of issues getting this thing set up. So I'd like to show that to you, uh, what I did to, to get it to work, mostly software and uh, driver related. So bear with me, I will hop to the screen and I'll show you what I did. Okay, first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure you have your microphone set up and hooked up to your audio interface with an XLR cable. Make sure it's hooked into input one. You're gonna plug the unit in. Uh, if you happen to have the Tascam US 2x2, you might be okay relying just on the USB cable from what I read in the, the manual for uh, your power source. But if you do happen to have the US 4x4, you're going to want to make sure that it's plugged into the wall as well with the AC outlet. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hop onto this website uh, where you can download the drivers if it doesn't come with a CD. I'm not sure. I can't remember if uh, the unit came with a CD or not. I got it about a month ago. so. But anyways, uh, so you're going to hop onto this website. I'll have the link in the description. Um, you're going to head over to downloads like you see on the screen right now. You're going to scroll down to your firmware and you're going to download firmware uh, if you're using Windows V1.01. Okay, so you're going to click on that. It's going to download for you. Uh, and then you're going to hop down here and you're going to want settings panel V4.00 for Windows if you have... Uh, Windows, obviously. Uh, it includes the driver, so you don't have to worry about a driver for uh, your unit and the settings panel. And if you happen to have a Mac computer or be running Mac OS, you can download settings panel v2.00. It should be the same. However, I'm not too sure uh, about certain settings. I know that uh, my unit's been very finicky from day one, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and download that. So when your downloads are finished, uh, you're gonna get two files in your downloads folder. It's gonna be the settings panel version 4.00, and you're also gonna get your firmware uh, version 1.01. You're gonna take this application that's in this compressed folder and you're gonna extract it. So you can just drag that to your desktop, that's fine. Same thing with your settings panel, uh, the installer you can drag to your desktop. First thing you're gonna wanna do is run the firmware updater. Make sure your device is connected now and hit connect. When you're connected, you can download and it will install the firmware update for you so that your device is fully updated. Next, you're gonna run the uh, installer for your uh, settings panel. Accept, next, install. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to. Now when it's done installing, uh, it might ask you to restart your uh, PC. Make sure you do that. Now when you come back after restarting your computer, um, you should see on the desktop a settings panel application. Um, I don't know where mine went, so uh, I'm just going to show you where it is in File Explorer. So you're going to go down um, to the search bar, look up File Explorer, and then you'll get um, the directories for your computer. This PC, uh, you're gonna go to your local disk, program files, and then just look up task cam. And your mixing driver will be, will be right there. Um, and if it hasn't opened already, uh, you're gonna open this folder um, or this application and it's called settings panel and it'll open up a little display like this back to the audio interface you're uh, gonna make sure that your xlr is hooked up to the input one your uh, power source is plugged in uh, your usb cable is hooked up to your computer and the phantom power is on for your audio interface as well you're gonna turn up the gain on uh, input one to about um, halfway up and you're gonna switch the monitor balance um, knob all the way over to computer. Now you should be good to go and in the settings panel over here you can uh, make sure everything is select for mono 
because if you select stereo, it's going to think um, that uh, you're recording with two microphones uh, in which input one will be the left and input two will be the right. So um, you can go down um, and in IO settings, you can select input one, uh, but if you have input two, input three, and input four selected, you can go ahead and deselect those. Um, make sure that line out one to two is uh, matching with line out one to two, and again, three to four with three to four. Buffer size doesn't really matter. Uh, you can leave it at the default, 256 samples. That's fine. Uh, and then we're gonna head over to the tab with custom. Make sure input one is all the way up. Input uh, with mono. Uh, you don't need external effects unless you're doing um, some music editing and then you can look into that. Uh, I haven't I haven't done much with that so I'm gonna leave it uh, the way it is and the way I have it set up so that I can Skype and uh, Discord and all that fun stuff. Um, PC audio out can be all the way up. Broadcast volume can be all the way up. Um, it doesn't really matter because it's more more so for your monitor I'm pretty sure um, and you're gonna also select uh, mono on the output as well now once you have that you can select custom save uh, and that'll save everything for you hopefully I think that's how it works I'm not really sure <laughs> okay um, and when I first started this um, I had it all the way down to 44 kilohertz um, and I'm gonna show you how to fix how to uh, turn that up if you have a microphone that's capable of uh, giving you a better sample rate. So we're gonna hop into sound, uh, system sounds, right there. And then that's on Windows. You're gonna head into uh, playback and it's automatically gonna make this your default device and default communication device every time you restart your computer. I don't know why, it's really annoying, uh, but I found out that uh, you just have to come into sound uh, every time you restart your computer and just set it back to uh, your default speakers, which in my case is Realtek Real Audio. Um, I'm not an expert about uh, like computers and all that, so like uh, if you know more about this than I do, then you can let me know. Um, but that's what I found uh, has worked for me. Now, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head into uh, recording and you're gonna make sure that um, if everything's hooked up correctly and your phantom power is on and everything's um, all set up uh, that your output audio is uh, being recognized over here as uh, mixing driver 1 and mixing driver 2 obviously uh, for your microphone and you can see as I talk into the microphone uh, those levels will go up um, if you want to make sure that uh, this is uh, recording proper, uh, you know, um, working properly, you can uh, right click on it, head into properties, listen, um, select listen to your device and apply. And that will uh, let you listen to your setup um, through your uh, computer speakers, okay? And also, um, remember how I was saying you can get better sample rate? Um, this is how you do it. So you're gonna go into your microphone properties and you're gonna go into advanced and you're just gonna switch this. It's gonna be on 44 100 hertz CD quality and it's gonna suck. And you're gonna go switch it to 96,000, okay? When you're done that, you can hit apply and okay. Now this is where you might be having an issue. Um, and this is certainly where I had an issue uh, running this um, audio interface, is I couldn't get this to work. Uh, so I'd have everything plugged in uh, and it looked like it was working but instead of uh, being output and uh, signaled through uh, mixing driver one it would be outputted through uh, US 4x4 and when you went into properties and you listened to the audio it would only be uh, playing through the left speaker or the left side of my headphones um, and the way I found out to fix this issue um, is by um, shutting down your computer and making sure everything is plugged in and your phantom power is turned on for your audio interface 
And when you go ahead and do that, and you restart your computer, it should fix itself as kind of like a reset sort of thing. And uh, obviously when you restart your computer again, you're gonna wanna go into playback and uh, just set your speakers to the default uh, one that you use. And when you go into your recording tab, you should see that it's working uh, for mixing driver one and mixing driver two. And uh, when you go ahead and record, uh, let's say you're using GeForce Experience and you uh, set your microphone, you're gonna wanna change it to mixing driver one, okay? Um, same thing goes for Discord, uh, Skype, um, any Adobe products, um, your uh, in-game audio, all those sorts of things. And that's just how you get it to work. It took me about a month to figure this out. Um, I was having troubles where I would uh, um, start the computer, I would go into sound, um, I'd go into the recording tab, and then I would plug in my device to find out it's only op uh, outputting through US 4x4. And I, I was so stumped, I was so confused because everything was hooked up properly. Uh, and it just wouldn't work. I had the game up, I had the XLR in, Phantom Power on, uh, the AC uh, adapter hooked into it, um, the USB, I would uh, unplug it and replug it back in countless times and it just didn't work. So this is one surefire way to get your uh, audio interface to work. And it was a bit of a pain in the butt uh, with uh, changing your uh, default uh, speaker back to the normal one that you use but that's life for you um, if you find out a better way to do this obviously you can let me know um, this is just how I got it to work for me now if you like this video and it helped you uh, in any way please uh, be sure to leave a like uh, subscribe and a comment if it helped you thanks for watching I uh, hope you have a good day